This is a study that is uh, NIH supported and supported by Merrimack Pharmaceuticals and it brings it together a few unique elements um, in, in recurrent glioblastoma. So this is actually recurrent glioblastoma or recurrent high-grade glioma, so grade 3 or grade 4 tumors that um, what happens is they're brought to the operating room and we uh, administer one to three catheters into the tumor under the patient's under anesthesia and the drug which is a nanoliposomal form of arenatecan so it sticks around longer in the brain is delivered by convection hands delivery which uses sort of volume to perfuse the tumor and uh, it's delivered co-delivered with gadolinium so you actually image the delivery real time so you can see where drug goes and fix for things like backflow or mispositioning of the catheter uh, and it's a one-time dose based on uh, the volume of the tumor. So the volume has to be one to four centimeters cubed. There are dose cohorts where cohort one, which is uh, 20 milligrams of the drug right now. And uh, obviously we'll continue to go. There's only been a few patients treated, actually two patients treated thus far. So um, you know, we look forward to future results. But uh, what's unique is the drug is uh, sort of technically a nano drug where it's been designed to stick around in tissue that is injected in, so you're bypassing systemic toxicity. You're using convection-enhanced delivery, which has been used before, but never with real-time imaging. So you're sure drug got where you needed it to, to be, um, which represents an advance that's not been done before. Uh, so we're extremely excited to, to move up to the next cohort, and uh, the eventual goal, if proven safe, is to do multiple doses when the FDA allows us to do so.